Welcome to another video for Global Scholarship for International Students. And today we'll be talking about Knight Nessie Scholars application for graduate international students. And as you can see, it is a full ride scholarship. So you might ask, what is a Knight Nessie Scholars? Um, Knight Nessie Scholars is for um, students that are applying for um, Stanford graduate program. And I'll talk more about this as we go to the official homepage. So as you can see, if you type in um, Knight Tennessee Scholars in Google search engine, it pops up the first one. And if you click on the first one, it's going to give you a brief um, information about what is Knight Tennessee Scholars. Um, Knight Tennessee Scholars, um, every year up to 100 high achieving students from around the world will receive full funding, which is full tuition and everything, um, to pursue any graduate degree at Stanford. So Stanford University is a famous university. And if you get accepted to Knight Tennessee Scholars, you can you will receive full funding for any graduate program. And as you can see, Knight Tennessee Scholars is the largest fully endowed scholars program in the world. So there's an um, introduction video, why become a Knight and Nessie Scholars, and who are we looking for? Um, we're going to see um, the eligibility down here, and if you click on the eligibility link, um, it's going to give you, um, uh, as you can see, it is for all citizens, which is international students, and we encourage applicants to Knight and Nessie Scholars from citizens of all countries, okay? And to be eligible for graduate study, you must hold the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree from a college or university of recognized standing. And if you click on the minimum level of study, um, it has um, different uh, minimal level required for different countries. And as you can see, um, your countries are listed here. And if you have any questions or any um, comments that you want to ask them, um, you, need to, you can contact the gra Office of Graduate Admissions and ask the question that you want to ask them. So, um, as you can see, all graduate programs at Stanford and only for graduate degrees, um, you, for, uh, you cannot apply for an undergraduate program at Stanford for Knight Hennessy Scholars. Um, Knight Hennessy Scholars is only for graduate programs. So if you're applying, if you have completed your undergraduate degree and you're um, going going for your graduate degrees, you can apply for this um, program. And there's different um, different varieties of programs that you can apply for. And as you can see, um, the Stanford education of Knight Hennessy Scholars is fully funded. So you don't have to pay anything. The tuition and everything is funded. And excuse me, okay. And there's a um, also a timeline for your bachelor's degree received in 2014 or later, and enrolling at Stanford in 2020 or later. Read this through and make sure um, you. Um, make note of this if you this is like a list of your undergraduate degree and when you can apply for them um, Which is a deadline for what you can apply for and if you scroll down more there are other eligibility requirements and as you can see um, you need to apply um, Separately you need to apply for Knight Tennessee scholars and apply separately for a graduate degree program and there's a, as you can see, a different um, requirement for graduate degree program. And if you look at the graduate admissions here and you can search programs, I'm just going to type in physics and I'll show you where you can find um, your, um, the requirements. So if you click on your major or anything like that, um, it has the uh, requirements listed right here. And for physics, um, you have to take GRE, which is graduate if you really want to know what GRE is, I'm gonna just going to search it up, GRE, which is Graduate Record Examinations, which you can take, which is required, and also you need to take Graduate on Record Examination Subject Tests and Physics um, to apply for this graduate program. So as you can see, um, 
you need to look at the 19SC eligibility requirement and also you need to fulfill your graduate degree program requirement um, because you're applying separately for 19SC scholars and for your graduate degree program. And as you can see, it's listed right here. You must complete not only your 19SC scholars application, but also the entire application process for your graduate degree program, including any standardized tests that your graduate degree program requires. Um, although we expect 19SC scholars to have performed well, there is no minimum requirement for your grade or scores. But I would recommend that you do the best that you can because there's only 100 students that are being accepted for this program. Um, there's going to be a fierce competition for this award. So make sure you do your best. And that's my word, for word of encouragement. So this is for students that are already enrolled or planning to enroll. Make sure you read this. So if you scroll up, um, there's a admissions overview, their eligibility, and also their application requirements. So um, you can click on apply now, but we're just going to look at the application requirements. Um, and as you can see, they, they emphasize it right here. You must apply separately to the Knight Tennessee Scholars Program and to your Stanford Graduate Degree Program. So after doing the Knight Tennessee Scholars, um, I might go into the graduate degree program, but I think I covered that one already. So if I did, I will link it down below if you need any help in that. So um, we're going to go through the application requirement for 19SC scholars. So application one. So you must submit all 19SC scholars application in English. So the first application requirement is the black background information, which is probably um, what's your name and all the other stuff, one page resume your transcripts, your undergraduate transcripts, and if you're and if you're if you have any graduate transcripts, you can turn that in, but it's not required. You only need your undergraduate transcript, your standardized test scores, which is probably your um, GRE. And if you are an international applicant, you, you need to prove your proficiency in English. So you need to take TOEFL, IELTS or PTA, PTE. So and also your recommendation letter, it has a detailed um, advice for your recommendation and who to recommend and what are, what they are looking for in that recommendation. Also number six, short, short answer responses. Um, they're going to ask this questions from you and you need to tell them your short answer um, and list them down below. So number seven is the essay. Um, it's probably the most important one because um, very important this is an important process because this is where they um, connect i think that essays are one of the ways that you can prove yourself um to be competent in english and also you can um uh, you can lay down your arguments um by using this essay and also there's a video supplement so prompt is teach something to your cohort of fellow 19 SC scholars. So it's going to be a short video, but make sure you know your thing and make sure you provide your video in a, in a way that they can understand easily. And also in-person assessment. So um, we will select 150 and 175 applicants to visit Stanford at our expense. So they're going to, they're going to give you money for the tickets and everything for Emergence Weekend on February 7th through 8th on 2020. Emergence, immersion Weekend is a chance to learn more about graduate degree programs, the Knight Tennessee Scholars Program, Stanford University, your fellow scholars, and we hope yourself. It is also an opportunity for Stanford to learn more about you. So for people who are um, selected for this in-person assessment are um, most likely gonna be selected for Knight Tennessee Program. It is not 100% um, guaranteed, but you're almost there if you uh, get accepted um, and you get invited to Stanford University. So um, in addition to application one, which is 19 SE scholars, you need to do the application two, which is graduate degree program. You need to apply separately for 19 SE scholars and for your graduate degree program. So um, there's a list of graduate degree program and deadline for each program. And if you want to be considered as a 19 SC scholar, um, you need to apply um, 
before the application deadline for these programs listed below. So make sure you read through all of this very carefully by, um, by um, where the one thing that we're con concerned about right now is the Nectanesi Scholars application. And we're just gonna go through that really quickly. And, but we covered what the Nectanesi Scholars required, but I'm just gonna go through the application portal and make sure that I can show you the whole process uh, before I end this video. So if you click on apply now, um, you can click on start your application. So if you click on your start, starting your application, um, it's going to do returning users and first time users. Since I'm a first time user, I'm just going to create an account. I'm just going to plug in, plug in the details and make sure you plug in with me. And let's call our ship finder. So birthday is August 25th, 2000. Okay, so a temporary pin has been sent to your email address. If you do not receive this message in the next few minutes, please check your junk mail folder. So I'm just gonna check my email really quick. Okay, I'm gonna check. <clears throat> the email on my phone <laughs> and the activation pin is listed in my email address so make sure you look at your email address and type in the pins that is listed there okay, I'm just gonna fill in the required information Okay, so password. So set a password that you can remember easily, but it is also uh, safe. Okay. So um, after you log in and plug in all the necessary information, um, you can just start your application. With the start new application, and it has uh, requirements um, when um, you, sh you should have gotten your undergraduate degree. And also, um, you need to submit your undergraduate in in institution. And the school you list here does not impact your eligibility for night and I see scholars. So I'm just going to do. <laughs> Scholarship Finder College. It's not a college. I'm just I'm just making this up, so don't follow it with me. Make sure you plug in the right information. But for the video's sake, I'm just gonna plug in um, what they required of me. So let's see, 2019. So I'm just gonna click on submit. Um, so in progress, open application. So as you can see, um, it has a deadline right here. And also for your graduate program, it has the deadlines right here. And there's also uh, help that you can need. So as you can see, um, there's a different application that you need to fill out, which is all the things that were listed um, in the introduction video. Introduction. And as you can see, it is, it's, more, it's more detailed here, but it's basically the same thing. So as you fill out this, uh, make sure you fill it out to the utmost detail and very accurate with 100% um, accuracy. And make sure you fill in the short answers and the essays to the best of your ability. And after you fill this out, make sure don't forget to um, apply for your graduate degree program also. So I hope this helps. And Night Tennessee Scholars is a very great thing to achieve because it is a full ride scholarship since they're providing full funding for your um, education and you're receiving a great education at Stanford University. So I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.